I see I'm in check. Okay, that's why I couldn't move. Okay, so we're going to play some um, four, um, four board chess uh, with international master Opa Wazen. Uh, it seems like I am yellow and red, and he is green and blue. And yellow plays first. So I played g4, he played e5 on this board. I played um, moved the e pawn on the other board. And he played a sneaky check. So I was thinking of taking his pawn, but um, um, yeah, very nice. So wasn't quite aware of that. Okay, so I, we're getting in, we're getting the hang of this slowly, I guess. Yeah, it's a little bit <clears throat> takes a little bit getting used to, um, but it seems like yeah, the activity in this direction you've got to be wary of, and activity in this direction. So you see the move here, g6, is quite a good move to defend the king from an attack on the other board. So, And so actually when I see that, maybe it's a good idea to castle this king queenside, possibly. Okay, so he's played d3. I've got to watch out this. Um, hitting this pawn. Um... So do I play actively or just, well, maybe this bishop is needed to guard. So this bishop, normally you wouldn't want to, hmm. So the st what I realize is that in this game, the center is a different, is a different thing that it, than what it would be in normal chess. Um, the center is actually the edge of the board here. This is in some sense the center, or, or let's say this whole region here. So it's quite a good idea probably to get get the king, get the kings if possible out of the center. And a move like b4, which you might not want to play in normal chess, actually might be quite a good idea in this variant. So if anyone's just joining us, this is we're playing on greenchess.net, which seems to be a Hungarian website. Um, and I'm yellow and red, and opera is green and blue, and he's definitely agreeing with that assessment um, of the centre being important. Um, well, I'm going to go here. Unfortunately, the site is a little bit laggy, so I play a move and it takes a little bit of time to register. Um, so I'm playing a little bit aggressively, perhaps. But the idea is I'm, I'm trying to hit this pawn, and if he tries to defend it, then I have a bishop pointing at his queen. So he might try and defend the pawn with a pawn of his own. Or he might leave it to green to defend his own pawn. So it goes in the order: yellow, green, red, blue is the the order in which we are playing. Um, so yeah. Oh, so what I also what I wonder is if I've played a move but I haven't let I haven't sort of let go, does it go through? And I, I hope it does because otherwise he'd have been waiting all that time. Okay, so he's just about to knight on the blue square, which means now it's yellow to play. Yeah, so this... Oh, I see. So, well, yellow to play means I can take this pawn. Um, ah. Why can't I take the pawn? 
Ah, oh, the yellow can take. Yeah, the, the 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 red can't. So I can go yellow takes pawn. So a little, a little bit of a struggle getting the moves registered. Um, but yeah, I think that was correct. So I would have rather taken with the red. Now I think about it. Yeah. I mean, that would have been preferable, but then now green plays and green would have defended is the concern. Because I'm never going to be able to fix my pawn structure and um, I do need to get my king safe quickly and I don't see how I'm going about doing that. It's going to require probably maybe e3, developing my knight somehow, developing my bishop somehow. Hi there Bakus, what is this badness you say? And the bedezler says I have no idea. Well yeah, uh, I said at the beginning of the stream but let me explain all. Uh, this is double chess. Uh, I am yellow and red, and oppo is green and blue. The order of the moves is yellow, then green, then red, then blue. So in a kind of zigzag. Uh, so Jackot just joining us as well, and I'm just, just explaining. So you take control of two boards. If you checkmate either of the opponent kings, I'm not quite sure whether you have to checkmate both of their kings or just one of the kings. So um, Oppo's a little clearer on the rules. Uh, than I am, but basically uh, yellow plays, then green plays, then red plays, then blue plays. Uh, you're not allowed to take your own pieces, obviously, so yellow's not allowed to take red's pieces, um, and blue's not allowed to take green's pieces. Um, and the site we are playing on is called greenchess.net, which is a Hungarian website. Uh, okay, so green has played this sort of b3 type move. Uh, oh, which means that it's red to play. Um, what do I do with red? Okay, I, I, I think I want to defend, um, defend my e-pawn, which is hanging. So that's what I'll do. It's a slightly laggy system, so I play a move and I have to wait to wait for it to register. Is no yellow is not allowed. To, that's what I said. Yeah, um, yeah. I think yellow is allowed to take blue. I, I think that is the case. Yellow is allowed to take blue, but I don't think. Yeah. Now maybe I should, at the risk of losing the page. Um, let me let me just go. This is greenchess.net. Not sure how much you can see. They have lots of strange. They say double chess. Someone is playing. Yeah, that's us. Okay, if you go new game. So hopefully Op is not waiting for me. You have all of these variants on weird boards. If you go to four player chess. Uh, you have this yellow, then green, then red, then blue. I don't know why they. They should turn this round because it looks confusing when they put it on the left and the right like this, but okay. And we're playing double chess. Just click on those rules. I'll just have that open on another tab, so I'll come back to it. Okay, just, just checking. Um, is it my move? Uh, I think it's Blue's move. Let me think. I think it's Blue's move. Yeah, I think it's Blue's move in this position. So while um, Opera's thinking, let's look at the rules. So I, I know that the screen won't necessarily capture everything, so I'll just read it out. Um, it's a four-player chess variant played on two connected normal chess boards. The game is played in two teams. Yellow and red play against green and blue. The move order is yellow, then green, then red, then blue. The teams win and lose together. The game ends at the first checkmate, and the team whose member delivered the mate wins. The teammates cannot capture each other's pieces. So that's all it is. It was invented by Yuri Janos in 2013 and independently by Naylor and Oa in 1925. So quite simple rules. Just mate 
on one board. Um, I okay. So Upper has moved. He's developed his knight. Um, you're saying I six is forced. Um, Oh, oh, that bishop's hitting my queen. I didn't notice that. Huh. Yeah, thanks thanks for the tip, the bedevil. I was losing my queen, my goodness. Uh, I guess so. It's not what I wanted, but I had a double attack. I, I see, Oppo is sneaky. Um, that's so unfortunate having to lose that pawn. Kind of, does, my position does crumble a little, but I don't lose my queen, so I'm going to go with that. Thanks for the tip from the chat. Okay, so we're we're now going into move five, I believe. One, two, three. So I, my moves so far have all been pawn moves on the yellow board. It's very bad. One, two, three, four, five. Just played my fifth move, and now Green is going to play his fifth move. Huh. Yeah, so I guess I should have played Queen to d6 to defend my e-pawn, in order to both defend the Queen and defend this e5 pawn. That was my mistake. So... You can't drag pieces, it seems, on this site. You just have to click and click. And it very kind of slowly registers. <laughs> yeah, I, I had noticed this bishop pointing at my king, which is why I, I built up a battery against it with pawns on this square and on this square. And uh, But then I got greedy and thought I could win a pawn. So I, I, I took with this pawn on here. Um, on his pawn here, defended by this pawn, but that that's now opened up this diagonal a lot more. So yeah, you're right. This this pawn, for example, but it's okay for now. Okay, so he's blocked off his own attack of this bishop on my queen. Um, so it's yellow to move. Okay, now I did say I need to develop. And normally I said I wanted to play e3. And I guess that's, this is why he played this move, because he, he, he likes the fact this bishop is going to stop me from castling. It's rather awkward. Um, this king is going to be a little bit open. I still feel it's probably worthwhile just exchanging and getting out, but... And the other question is, do I keep this bishop? Normally, you would want to develop this bishop um, to this side of the board, but because it's double chess, this bishop is actually quite a good piece on this diagonal. So actually, this this move has a sort of double purpose. It blocks in my own bishop, while also keeping his bishops open. So it's quite a quite a smart move from him. Um, Hard to say what to do, and I'm being a little bit slow. So I am now playing yellow. What to do? When you want to create threats, so I noticed this pawn. is potentially hanging with check and actually that rook can't be taken because it's defended by the blue rook so yeah this is not so good and he probably wanted to play that move anyway so ah such is life okay so on the red board then how can i create threats hmm i could take this knight but bishops are, in a way, are much more powerful pieces than knights, so I wouldn't want to do that. 
I, I also want a castle queenside just to get my king out of the way. But I also just want to develop, so I'm just going to develop, I think. But what I notice is, I think, if we compare our positions, um, Oppa's bishops are a lot better than my bishops. You just look at this bishop here, this bishop here, this bishop here. He's He knows how to use his bishops. So I was thinking of swinging this knight into here, but I don't know. Not feeling confident. Okay, so what's the idea of that move? Put potential piece sack here. Mm. Not quite sure what what that's what the idea is. This bishop, my goodness, his bishops are too good. Um, so I was thinking I could just you know develop my knight, but actually he has he has two pieces hitting on that square. So I think I, I just need to develop my king, which is in in need of development. Um, okay, I'm just gonna have I'm gonna I'm gonna give up my castling rights just to try and um, create a solid structure. So it's green to play. Uh, but as I said, this seems like a much more direct version of four-player team chess. Yes, it's more immediate, certainly. So I hope to take that bishop next move, and there's no sneaky way that blue can defend that bishop. That would be very concerning if there were. Um, it's interesting, because my move here was planning, I was planning on knight here to take that bishop, but I kind of got impatient. Um, maybe I shouldn't have got impatient, but I just, I don't know. I got impatient. I can't quite work out. Is it you have to click the center of the square for it to register? I'm not quite sure. I guess this move is just trying to provoke some weaknesses. It's rather... And maybe swap off one of his dangerous bishops if he doesn't like that bishop there. So you're saying, oh, you're right. I was just thinking I'm just going to take this bishop next move, but he's created a double threat. Hmm. This is, I didn't realize how defended this knight is. Rook, bishop. I. Okay. I'll take the bishop. Gives him a choice of whether to take back with the rook or with the bishop. Yeah. Also the bishop has a counter, has some kind of counter. So he didn't doesn't want to take back at all, he's just going for my rook, which is interesting. It is a nasty piece, that bishop, I have to say. Um, okay, so red to play. Hmm. What to do, what to do. It's quite... I feel like I'm not creating enough threats, but hmm, not quite sure what else I could have done.
Okay, now I contemplate there was something else I could have done. I could have done something like Rook here, but that would have potentially been a Rook sacrifice. I'm, I'm basically playing this just to try and get my Red King safe. So if I lose this game, it's the Yellow King I have to defend. Okay, so he plays Bishop here, creating some kind of threat here. Well, he could have taken this bishop, he chose not to. So I will take his bishop. In the meantime, he's he was threatening this, but that is all that is defended. And yeah, it's hard to rescue my rook. Okay, king takes back. Um, here, this knight is very well defended by two rooks and a queen, so there's no way of taking that. I think I'm just going to castle. Can I castle, please? Yes. So I'm feeling feeling good about my my red king not so good about my yellow king uh baku says you're being dismantled my poor lad <laughs> yeah my yellow pieces well he only has to win on one board so now what i need to do is so it's yellow to move now what I need to do is, so this is an interesting move. Um, hmm. What I'm going to do as yellow, paradoxically, is go here. Um, so the reason I'm doing that Although it's, I should be doing, moving my pieces in the other direction, he has tempted me, I have to admit, to support that knight, to support that pawn, and to try and win his, yeah, to try and win his, his, uh, his blue bishop. Because if I can win his blue bishop, then maybe my red bishop will find a home one day um, on the yellow board protecting my king. That's the kind of optimistic idea. So now it's red to play. So as an example, if I click this red knight, I can't take my own piece. Good. Um, and it's not touch move either. Okay, so what can I do as red here? Um, this knight is still not hanging. Um, what can I do as right here? I could try to push this pawn, perhaps. And let's see. I'll push this pawn, but takes, takes, takes. And then the queens are coming off here, potentially. I'm just going to do this, and the reason I'm going to do that is just to keep blue busy. So whatever blue was planning, now maybe the thing I'd be slightly scared of is something like bishop takes knight and then some other threat. But I can't see it. Oh. Oh, so that's what that was about. So then I was planning on knight takes bishop, but I'm in check. So that's rather unfortunate. Hmm. What to do? Um, don't really want to sacrifice a queen. This could be a slow and painful death. Okay. 
What's his next attack? Oh, he's taking my rook. Hmm. Mm, but I can take back. So here's a nifty idea. He's got very good control on both dark and light squares. If he did take the rook, there's a nifty idea I have, which is I could move the rook to this light square and then just scurry away with my king over to the red board. <laughs> But yeah, the, the vultures are circling my, my yellow king. So it's green to play with two rooks hanging. One rook, just free rook, but he, I think he wants to keep it to control squares around my king. I need to get safe quickly. So what is green going to play? So if anyone's just joining us, I think there's a function. Oh, that's rotating the board. That's 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 the board from Opus perspective. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, if anyone's just joining us, I think there's a function where I can just replay the whole game up to now from the first move from yellow. Yellow, green, red, blue. Yellow, green, red, blue. So this is, I thought I had a nice attack going on this square. But because it was yellow to play, I really wanted to take with the red, but it was yellow to play first, and I was afraid he'd defend. So I took quickly, and this did open up this diagonal a little bit. And then I had to do that to defend my queen. Exchange bishop. So he had an attack on the queen, which forced me not to be able to take his bishop back. And then the bishop could run away. And uh, we're up to the current position with king here, and he's moved... Uh, queen here. So I, I, I see what that's all about. Just getting the queen onto a light square. Um, makes a lot of sense. Um, wow. Well, it's kind of unfortunate because as, as red, I don't really have that many things I need to do. I'm like, as yellow, I want to take this bishop, but I've got no time. It's like I want to use my red move for yellow, but I don't, I'm not able to. So that's the rather unfortunate circumstance in which I find myself. I could do a distraction operation, but that feels like it would be really wasteful. No, but this is okay. I can just take a knight. I mean, I think maybe it's not fast enough, but kind of praying I'm okay. After queen here, just bringing the knight in to defend being the idea. But blue's probably just going to ignore me. He's going to try and probably create a double threat somehow. Yeah, like if blue could attack my queen, then I'm, I'm not really in good shape. So yeah, I think I'm worried about actually moves like bishop takes i2. Does bishop takes pawn? Mm, maybe that wouldn't work because it's yellow to play next. So I'm not sure. Uh, bishop takes knight, okay. Um, well, I want to do knight takes, but, hmm, why, why do I want to do knight takes? Let's think. I want to do knight takes, but I'm worried this is 
not controlling enough squares. But I want to also develop my rook. It's sort of paradoxical, but I'm going to go knight takes. Like, maybe I don't have time to do this, but I just, you know, to move my knight away from the defense of the king. But I need, I needed to move that knight in order to liberate my, I need other pieces helping out. And that knight was just blocking things up a bit. So, yeah, green to play. It's going to get serious very shortly. Queen to play. One advantage of this knight is I could, I could potentially create double threats. So my knight could create a threat and my a red piece could create a threat at the same time uh, on the blue board. So there is some There is some potential there. Okay, so the queen is coming in. Well, not much choice. Just oh, it's not my move. It's the red's move. Okay. Um. So this knight is hanging. If I if I'm being very materialistic. But I need to think, what, is, um, what does blue have in store for me? He wants to go, green definitely wants to go check me. So does blue have any attacks potentially on my pieces? Which would distract me. I can't see, I can't see anything. So I'm going to go with the aggressive option. Being slightly materialistic again, but so it's blue to play. And there are ideas of bringing this bishop somehow into the defense of the yellow king, but it's a little bit slow. Now, rook takes bishop would be really interesting. Rook takes bishop, queen takes rook would be almost checkmate, so that's fascinating. Okay, so it's yellow to play, and as yellow, I just need... Mate. But it's a little bit worrying. Because I just realized that the point of that green queen was potentially to come in here. But I don't see the blue bishop surviving long. I plan on taking that. I get a chance. So, uh, green to play. What will green play? There's rook takes pawn, which is vaguely annoying, but I don't know if it works because I would have rook takes bishop and then rook takes rook. Next move. So 
I mean, what is green going to do here? He could win yellow's other rook, certainly. But that doesn't forward his mating ideas. So pawn takes pawn with the idea of rook to b8 and attacking the black uh, the red king, as I said, just seems all too slow. So for blue and green, so for offer here, he does have a clear target in that my yellow king is is not safe. Um, so I wonder whether he's trying to contemplate some. I wonder if there's some lag that not not realizing moves have gone through. Okay, he takes the rook, and as red, I'll take the bishop. Well, you see, I could also take this pawn, but I'm going to take the bishop. I feel that a bishop is a powerful piece, so I'm going to take the bishop without thinking too much. He takes that pawn, okay, and now it's yellow to move, and yellow doesn't have that many things to do. Um, so, but I could do a move like, I can't do that because then red can take my bishop. Um, so what can yellow do here? Um, I need to I need to coordinate my piece. It's like I don't actually have that much I can do. Oh, I could take this pawn, but then the queen comes in with check. Is that too dangerous? So if I take this pawn, the queen comes in uh, with check. And I go here. I think I can get away with that. So I'm going to do it. Um, so there is a mating one threat I have here. So even if I lose, I, uh, I do have. <laughs> I'm one move away from from winning. <laughs> So green is probably going to want to defend somehow. Not clear how. Maybe by creating a window for his king with like g6. Would that work? It's not clear that it would actually. I mean, it probably would, but I have a dark squared bishop. And the thing is, the queen on the back rank, if I get it on the back rank, could even threaten this the blue king as well. So, so it's red to move. Ooh, um, I want Ideally, I want to. Okay, red to move. What should I do here? Um... So ideally, I should be trying to help out with the defense of of the king. 
Um, but maybe maybe something like it's difficult to see how. So I'm going to do this move. I just feel it's the right move to do. Uh, with the ideas of maybe potentially mating the blue king because there's potential of knight here check if the king ever runs up and then the blue bishop cuts off so crazy as it might seem I'm I'm going for mating ideas okay so it's blue to play Yeah, he's creating a nice barricade, uh, rook, queen, rook, so that there's no discovered attacks. Yeah, that's a very nice idea. Hmm. So as yellow, I've got a slight dilemma. Hmm. Do I go for a check on green? Wonderful thing about a check is Yeah, a check's really good. Because I, I've got now two pieces kind of but blue is not occupied in this. And then see the other idea I have is the knight knight could come in here attacking the queen and looking towards this square. Um but it doesn't create a double threat. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this check. For the simple reason that as long as the uh, green king is being checked, um, he can't really do much against me. Oh, but if I check him, he can still go rook takes queen, darn. That's the unfortunate thing. I can check the green king, but he can still go rook takes queen. So that, that didn't, somehow that felt like it didn't work. Okay, I'm going to do this. It's a little bit high progressive. I should be worried about my own yellow king. But I'm just trying to distract blue as much as possible. Okay, so now it's yellow to move, and now yellow has a very big problem to consider. Which is how to mate this green king, or how to at least keep green busy. Um, or how to keep how to keep everything safe. I mean, I could, for example, attack the green, but green could then come and check me. So that's sort of unfortunate. Hmm. I'm trying to work out what queen did I check? Hmm. Difficult. Maybe we should try and go for a checkmate on the blue king. How would we do that? Don't know. I do not know.
yeah, I'm not sure, quite sure what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to take this. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. So it's green to play. So green has the check. I think I can run and my back rank is covered. It's really tricky. Hmm. I just realized yellow had another move. Yellow had another move. Hmm. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm going greedy with with red, but it's probably dangerous. Okay, what does blue do here? So blue is actually quite short of pieces. It's only got a queen and a rook. So blue pulls the trigger. Interesting. So he's going all in. Okay, well I'm going all in too then. I'm going to go check. on the green and as red I'm going to take that queen Now blue can take my bishop, if he wishes, but it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work at all, because I can take back with check on the blue king. And then blue and green will both find themselves under heavy check. So Bakus, what were you saying? I'm being dismantled, my poor lad. Okay, the king is going for a runner. Okay, so now yellow to play. So green is playing next, so make sure green's in check. So green couldn't do anything exciting. Now what about red? Hmm. 
What's this thing? Oh. Um, Opera's resigning. <laughs> uh, how how would I how how what's the finish? Red. I think red can just take this this rook and then check again, and again green can't do anything. So, yeah, all the pieces are being mopped up. I can't see a mate. It's just that uh, because because the king is under constant check from the yellow piece. Um, because the green is under constant check, then um, uh, red can just mop up all of green's pieces while green is busy under check, and blue's only got one rook and can't do much counterplay with that rook. So, yeah, my red bishop was deadly, the uh, author said in the chat, the one which came in here, boom, boom. Kind of distracted him sufficiently, or scared him sufficiently. Because he says if it gave his, his king a check, then he's in trouble because then maybe I can do something. Yeah. So yeah, he'd have to move with blue and then that distracts him from whatever else he wanted to do. So he had to defend against it, but then he lost the rook. and That was very pleasing, uh, very satisfying. Uh, so thanks offer for the game. Um, and thanks everyone for watching. Uh, it looked like I was going to lose that one, but uh, quite a turnaround. <laughs>